Today we're gonna take out a piece of this guy's jaw with his teeth and his bone and everything. Get a bone from his leg, put dental implants in that bone, put it in his jaw as a replacement. And he's gonna use it as a functional jaw to speak and eat and all that. You don't believe me, then you gotta check this out. getting prepared for the week, eating some food right now. It's lunchtime, so I got Trader Joe's finest food. I'm a recent Trader Joe's guy. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, you'll see that I have like a whole highlight history of just meal prepping my ass off. Like I used to meal prep every single week, like like clockwork. It was, it was crazy. And like the food would be good too. I'd be throwing down, but honestly these days, I don't know, for some reason, I don't see the same return on investment when I meal prep. So now, I just go to Trader Joe's. I don't know, food's pretty good. I'm probably gonna keep doing this for a while. Anyway, I'm preparing for this case tomorrow. Just, you know, looking up the patient history while the surgery's indicated, looking up steps of the surgery, seeing any literature online. So it talks about the surgery itself, the surgical technique, so I know the progression of the surgery. Before I even got into the medical field, before I even got into head and neck surgery, I had no idea stuff like this existed. So uh, this is what we're going to do today with one of the physicians. I have the pleasure of actually helping the doc record the case. Uh, we're going to document it, essentially turn it into a mini documentary and then post it on YouTube. So um, I'm gonna get some footage of that. Hopefully I can share some of it with you guys. And then once the video finally comes out, I'll let you guys know and I'll post a link. All right, you guys, so I'm on my way out the door. And as I told you, I'm actually going to be recording this case. This is the gimbal I'm gonna be using. This is like a DJI. Uh, like OM4, OS, o, uh, Osmo 4 gimbal. This is the coolest thing that I own. Um, I usually record all of my vlogs with this thing. Uh, now I'm bringing it into the operating room. So just adding a little bit more depth to this gimbal's game. This is gonna be so cool, you guys. Uh, but now we need to get to the hospital for morning rounds and get to doing this surgery. So let's go. Wow, you can't be serious. You cannot be serious. So I did a quick check and all my tires look fine. I'm just gonna hope for the best and uh, drive to the hospital cause we gotta go. So before I even get started with today's case, I just finished combing through some of the medical literature and apparently in about 2013, a group of surgeons out of NYU really pioneered this procedure and coined the term jaw in a day. So in the past, a patient who would have mandibular surgery would have the mandible removed with teeth only to have the mandible replaced and about six to 12 months later, they'd have dental implants put in place so they can uh, achieve a good occlusion and have normal jaw function. But today, as a result of this procedure, patients will have the mandible with bone and teeth removed and then have bone and teeth put back in. So one of the big emphases in the surgery is to achieve a intraoperative occlusion so that the patient can have normal jaw function only weeks postoperatively without having to wait that six to 12 months just to have the dental implant so they can go back to normal jaw function. It has great outcomes, great patient satisfaction. However, really only a small number of institutions worldwide, you know, let alone the United States, are even able to do this procedure. And I'm just lucky enough to be part of this experience at my training program. So really excited about it. Definitely can't wait to get in there and get started.
this point, we're about halfway through the case. We started at seven, it's now noon. Let's get a quick lunch in. Got my chicken wrap, chips, water. We're at a point in the case where there um, is not the need for any resident help. So they're kind of putting the implant into the fibula bone right now. And as soon as I finish, I'm gonna run back in so I can close the leg incision. And at that point, they'll be up at the jaw, placing the fibula in the mouth with the implants in it. And then they'll do microsurgery. So we probably have another five, six hours left before we're finished. So I'm just gonna hurry up and finish eating this and then I'll report back to you guys and then kind of give you the final conclusion of everything. All right. guys just finished rebuilding this man's jaw with my team what an incredible day it was absolutely one of the most crazy surgeries that I get to be a part of as a head and neck surgery resident but now I'm home the work ain't finished still got to do stuff to prepare for tomorrow I have a research project uh, draft that I need to submit actually I should have submitted it on Friday but you know things get kind of busy and um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bang it out tonight. So although I'm at home, I'm still busting more ass, still getting stuff done. So I'm going to holler at you guys later. Thanks for joining me today. I will see you in the next one.